All right. Time to start the official Skunk and Dom podcast. This Scum. is the Scum cast. Scum. Scum cast. Wow. All oh, right. Welcome to episode one of the Scum cast. 1.5, as it were. We yes, 1.5. Well, whatever, you know. <laughs> is Take this two. even going to be a real episode? Who knows? We're just trying to play around with this. We finally got everything to kind of work. We have the microphone set up on a chair in between us so that we can sit close enough floor. to Yeah, so we can sit close enough to it to have anything to talk about. Uh, we've decided this first episode is going to be the best bands that have debuted since the 90s. In our opinion. In our opinion. We were both going to do a top five, and then we'll argue about it uh, amongst ourselves. Pull up the list. Bring up the list, sir. Okay. So, I guess we'll start with my top five. It's going to be kind of hard to rank, because I'm just not that good at that. Yeah, but I do know what number one five. is, and number one is going to be Sabaton. Because it's me. Da, 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 da. It's me. It's me. It's DDP. No, it's Sabaton is definitely number one for me. You down with DDP? Yeah, <laughs> down with DBT. You kind of know me. Yeah, exactly. So, if I had to rank top five, Sabaton number one, I'd probably put Lamb of God at number two for me personally. Lamb of God. No, let's put Down at number two, <laughs> Lamb of God number three, then go Jira. Opinion tripper! <laughs> and then probably... Mastodon after that, and that's my top five. Mastodon. So we have Sabaton first, then down, then Lamb of God, then Gojira, then Mastodon. Sastodon. Sastodon. Dom? Yeah, no, 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 no. Oh, God. What are your top five? Oh. Well, as of right now, because uh, it changes way too much, I'd probably put Gojira at number one because, I mean. Because Magma. Sweet Lord. <laughs> because of the whole category, except for the link, the linkus is kind of like they're getting off their feet. Yeah, bands everything have to after do that. that is just like solid gold. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I'd have to say Howard Jones era Kill Switch is number two, just because I can listen to any of the songs that he did, and like it never gets old. Everything, every single album that he put out with that band is just like. Solid gold. Once again, everything is perfect. Uh-huh. There's like one song that I don't really like that he did, and that's that's it. And I can't even. Which I think it's one ir- is that? I think it's irreversal. Irreversal. Yeah, something like that. But anyway, this is my curse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I've learned to love Jesse's era, but like it's always been J- Howard Jones for me. All right, that's number two. That's number two. That's number two. Uh, down, I guess, to, to be number three, so we can cut out some of this damn time. Uh-huh. Because, like, it's, it was a super group of, like, all the greatest guys in the NOLA scene. And then all the supers left. Yeah, <laughs> it was just, like, a couple of roadies. <laughs> no, we got a couple of roadies in there now. Yeah, I mean, I but mean, they're still solid. To be honest, yeah, Purple Pat, Part 2 and Purple Part Rick. 1 are both pretty fucking good, and they're without Rex. Yeah, and now they're just kind of doing their own... Like we're not gonna put out records. We're gonna put out LPs. Yeah, we're we're old smoke. school smoke. I don't even. Is that even an old school thing? Like, I think it, you, you know, never I mean, put yeah, out when, albums. You just put out LPs. If you did that in the fifties, that's pretty much what they did. How about you just wait and then put everything on an album, Phil? But anyway, I think they're just lazy. Uh, I don't even think Crowbar would be on my top five. Really? I just, Crowbar is one of those bands that, like, no one else likes except for me, and I will always like them because they're everything that they do is great. You just like to rep them because literally nobody else in the exactly. world likes I'm them. A, I'm a Crowbar hipster. Uh, I guess in terms of, like, longevity and me being a fan for of them for so long, Disturbed uh-huh. would be number, it would be three or four. That's four. four. Yeah. yeah, because I can't get enough of Disturbed. They're so good. Everyone hates them for some reason because they... Came out of that era like corn well, and they, they sound down. like hard rock at a lot of the times. They're hardly even metal. But Draymond's vocals are just so fucking great. They're really like, cool. Aww. Let me let me tell you this about Disturbed. <laughs> they called their mascot the guy. That's so stupid. Don't be that guy. No, they had a cool design for this big guy in the wooded the, the hooded cloak 
and he looks really evil and he's got that demonic smile and what do they call him not like lucifer not like you know <laughs> king awesome terrible. or anything like that or the monster no just the guy completely unthreatening i think that the guy was an afterthought like name wise because like you wouldn't want to name it something stupid like it's the devil, blah blah. It's the disturbed well, one. Well, I mean, fucking, it worked pretty well for you know Eddie and and, and Iron. Yeah, Maiden but that became and, like a joke. Like, yeah, it's, and it's Vic Eddie Rattlehead. Yeah, Vic Rattlehead and Megadeth. You know, that's usually there. I there. didn't know that that was his name until right now. I just thought it was really? the Megadeth. Really, the fucking song on on the first album, Rattlehead. <laughs> it's about Rick. It's about Vic Rattlehead. Hello, Vic. It's me again. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, okay, so that's number four. Number five would probably be, once again, Longevity, Alice in Chains. Uh, uh-huh. Well, actually, no, because Alice in Chains, like, f- the first three albums are good, and then they just become, like, weird fucking, what's the guitarist's name? Jerry Cantrelli. Jerry Cantrelli of Vision, Alice in Chains. Um, but I, maybe Kylesa? Even Kylesa's kind of like... You're just pissed because they're on mess. hiatus. Yeah. Because they broke up, man. No, it's no more. Look, I didn't get a tattoo. Coming from one huge system of a down fan, just live with the hiatus, man. Just get over it. Just it'll well, happen. Kalesa was actually good. Oh, oh. I mean, Shots fucking fired. system of a down. Their first like two records were okay. And not ready. have system of a down's debut album or toxicity. Their debut and toxicity. I will not have them just uh, disparaged. In my house. I'm in your house. You're in my <laughs> house, son. Uh, this is where Philip and Killswitch rule, sir. Okay, so those are our top... Did our I do a five. fifth one? You did do the fifth one. The Fuck fifth it, one. I'm going to do four because I don't follow the rules, no, sir. No, you did five. You said Kylesa. Yeah, but they were split. I didn't have a definitive four, but who cares? Apparently me and Amy are the only people in the United States who like to listen to Sabaton, which yeah. is pretty frustrating. Uh, they definitely deserve that number one spot because they're simply the best band that has ever walked the earth. Ghost Division. Exactly. Okay, so we'll do some honorable mentions for the rest of the, the list here. I definitely you have to mention... You can start with uh, Night Shit or Shit Wish. Night Wish. <laughs> Thank you, Dom. We're really going to start the controversy early now. This yeah. is the spot where you and I diverge. Where yes. I like power metal and you think it all sounds it's, like opera. Power metal is <laughs> 80s shit. It's not... Power metal is not... It is not 80s shit. Stradivarius made it 90s shit. Uh, I hate that power metal is like mostly like a foreign thing now. Like we don't have American power metal. We really don't. And we anymore. really should. It all died when Phil made power metal with Pantera. The be- the album power metal? Yes. That that's nobody where has it heard. It started and ended. Because it's, it's a fucking, it's the holy grail of it's power It's not metal. even a power metal album. It's just the name of the album. <laughs> it's It, it supersedes any. Look, whenever anybody talks genre. about power album, power metal in the scene, they're always like, oh, yeah, I love Dio. And, like, you know... Who says saying, that? No, they're, like, <laughs> fucking everybody. They're, like, they're thinking, like, Dungeons and Dragons. If you sing about Dungeons and Dragons, then you're a fucking power I metal. I don't know. Guy. I feel like there's a, a different name for, like, the medieval metal from the 80s that Dio, like, That's always created. what they call it. They always call it power metal. And you know, know what? It really is distinct from shit like Sonata Arctica and Stradivarius and Nightwish. It doesn't sound shit like it. So there should be a different name for those. I don't know what it could be. Would it just be medieval, medieval metal? Medieval. Yeah. Medieval. Medieval. <laughs> medieval. Medieval. <laughs> medieval. Uh, chalice of souls. Souls inside jokes. Um, so we got night shit out of the way. Let's let's kill it and bury it in the backyard. Right, well, we said we were going to do some honorable <laughs> mentions and dishonorable. Yeah, well, you know who needs an honorable mention is Mastodon. Yes. I'm honestly surprised they didn't make it onto either one of our top fives. Maybe it's just because maybe it needs to be reworked. Maybe it does, but you know their newest album is just not that thrilling. It's good though. Look, I don't think <laughs> if you're a band it's and you put out an album that is anywhere near as good as Leviathan, then you need to be in the metal. I'm not in the Leviathan camp. Valhalla for the rest of eternity. I like Blood and Thunder a lot, obviously, but everything else is just kind of like. No, okay. I, I love the like crazy proggy like ocean. Once they hit crack shit. the sky, that's when it's like no, 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 unbelievable Heart of the, and amazing. I, oh man, I love um, like Aqua Dementia. It's like it's fucking off the rails crazy song. Yeah, I think once they hit crack the sky though, that's when it became like 
it became mainstream. Powerhouse fucking, ma- yeah, mainstream. It became, like Mastodon. everybody started to know who they were when Crack the Sky came out. Mainstodon. Yeah, like Mastodon. Because uh, Oblivion uh, got huge. And uh, yeah. what's the other song? Oblivion and. The one that starts uh, with the banjos. Um, oh, God. Was that Divinations? Divinations. That's the other song that got really big. Yeah, but like The Last Baron, that's like my favorite song by them. The Last Baron. The Last Baron. One of my uh, favorite songs by them is... Uh, isn't it Colony of Birchman? Colony of Birchman, but that's on Blood Mountain. <laughs> and Sleeping Giant as well, because I got that song stuck in my head for almost two years. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, Mastodon, we got... We got uh, I'll do Deftones. Uh-huh. Timeless, except for Adrenaline, their first album, which I don't know. Maybe I need to re-listen to that, but I've never really liked... Especially because of the album art. It's like that uh-huh. weird baby phlegm thing, but... Deftones, I don't know. There's just there's always a what's good the, time to listen to. What's the to album them. with like the camera angle down on the chick? Is that around the fur? No. Um, yeah, it is. It's got the song "Sex Tape" on it, and yeah, yeah okay, it is around the fur. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> around the fur, and then knife knife party is on. That's probably one of my favorite ones. On white pony. On white pony. Uh, I did a lot of listening to Deftones, and specifically around the fur. When I was dating my ex, who was crazy into Deftones. Yeah, history. History. Brother. Brother. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Ooh, yeah. History. <laughs> Cray when I cry. In the macho man. <laughs> Wrestler hour. Um, mm-hmm. I recently just got into them because I had always heard, like, obviously, uh, what's it called? My Own Summer, Shove It, uh-huh. was like the biggest whatever song they put out. I think if um, you're into Tool at all. Yeah. If you like vibe bands you're gonna be into deftones because they're like tool but they actually bother to write songs we'll shoe and we'll shoehorn in tool right now because <laughs> no deftones is not like tool they're kind of like weird like trippy druggy i don't know what the fuck i, it, the I feel like they create a vibe and, and they, they like, actually bother to write songs but like you have to sit down skunk has not sat down and listened to tool like as he should. That's true. I to have appreciate it because Tool is like dark and trippy. Maynard James Keenan is like, too many names. They use the fucking Fibonacci scale to make songs. Oh, so look at like, you, Mister Fancy. It's science, man. Uh, but yeah, back to Deftones. Um, you, haven't you heard Needles and Pins? Yes, like, I've the heard. <laughs> yes, yes, oh, I've heard copyright. that song a lot of times. Dead. Um, <laughs> no, you got two. You got under two seconds. You're fine. Yeah, <laughs> they didn't get us just yet. Um, and then they came back, like, Diamond Eyes was, it's okay. Uh-huh. And then they came back with Koi no Yokan, uh-huh. which is fucking great all the way through. I feel like we're talking too much about our honorable mentions and not enough about what we, like, our focus, our top five. Everybody, no one's going to listen to this, it doesn't matter. Nobody's going to listen to this, <laughs> Amy might listen okay. to this. <laughs> Going back, uh, I wanted to mention Soulfly as well, even though like you know, yeah, Soulfly. Soulfly is awesome. They're from the '90s, technically. Like it's you can, Sepultura, you can, but it's new Sepultura, metal. but new metal, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> and Arch Enemy too, Drink. because you know this is me and Dom here talking. We're gonna rep Arch the Enemy, more even though I like feel. that gargly fucking what's her name, Angela Gossow voice, uh-huh. where it's like she's doing death metal underwater. Yeah. Revolution Begins was, like, my introduction to them, and, like, ever since then, it's just been, like, holy you know, shit, this band. Alyssa White Blues has, like, taken four fucking years to make a new album. They've torn well, it up, though. two or three, though. but well, still. Whatever. yeah, that's pretty normal. Make a new album already, people. You can't. They had to tour the world, like, three times, because that was the biggest shit in metal. I know. For, like, but a, still. For, like, six months. You gotta... You gotta get the tour out of the way, and then, you know, once you're still on that high uh-huh. of creative genius, you make another album, and then you keep touring, and that's, you just kind of ride the wave, man. Yeah. Um, okay, so we did Arch Enemy. Uh, uh typo. Typo. My cinnamon girl. <laughs> typo is typo, <laughs> is that, yeah. What else do you have to say they're, about they're, typo? One of their first albums was a dick going into a vagina. That's as, as edgy as you get, uh, kids. we all done that? Yes, <laughs> of course. We can. That's very relatable. That's, I like it because it's like everybody likes to tiptoe around sex and be edgy and shit. I like how they just like put it right on the fucking typo cover of their is album. like typo negative is like it's just like sex. here we're done. We don't have to worry about it's it. It's sex vampire metal. 
I yeah. don't know. Every time you think of typo, you think of like Blade. I think of <laughs> I think of Queen of the Damned. Oh God, that movie shouldn't have been called Queen of the Damned because it's like mostly Lestat. It's mostly and not about her. Queen of the Damned is like the very end of the movie. But anyway, that's a, a discussion for another time. That's for another time on movie scum. But yeah, the scum cast movie edition. Black label. Black label. Black label society. <laughs> <laughs> They're okay. Black Label Society is okay. I I don't really have a huge opinion. I had on a them. lot of fun seeing them. Yeah, Zach Wild and Black Label Society are just kind of one and the same for me. They really are because they're, they're, there's no reason to distinct between the two of them. They don't have like Stillborn is like their Still standout. Stillborn, <laughs> I have. I don't know, but yeah, like everything else from them aside I from Stillborn when, is like when uh, yeah. I remember when Guitar Hero came out. Okay. And Fire It Up was like the song for a minute there. The Disturbed song? No, Fire It Up <laughs> from Black Lives Matter. Fire It Up. No, fire It Up, Black the Angel Band. I think. Oh, did they cover it? Yeah. No, I don't think they covered it. The Fire It Up by Disturbed is on their newest album. Oh. And it's about like smoking weed, I think. Oh, that's awful. It's like giving me inspiration and all that. David like, Dryman always fucking talks on caps on Facebook and it's embarrassing. He's and he gave man. up Facebook because everyone kept attacking him for some reason. Because he always talks in all caps on He's Facebook. He's just really like politically, you know, like, I gotta talk about everything. I feel like David Dryman is a kid. Yeah. He's not a man. And he was like that when Disturbed was like still fresh and stuff. It, he was kind of like the Corey Taylor of his day. <laughs> was he like, begging for attention too? Yeah, I forget where I like heard about that, but like he would just, it would be like, this happened, let's talk to David Draymond about it. Yeah, I remember um, he was like positioning himself as like being popular in the same way that Marilyn Manson and, and Corey Taylor are, where like for some reason the media wanted to ask him questions and shit. And that he's clearly well, no proven one, not to be relevant anymore. No one asks Marilyn Manson his opinion anymore. He's just still No, relevant. Marilyn Manson... I have no idea why anybody ever talks about Marilyn Manson anymore. He, he put out... He's making a movie, man. Is he making a movie? Yeah, you didn't see that trailer that was everywhere, no. like, last week. What was it? Is it, like... A, I don't know what it's called, movie about him, like, or... I don't... He's just, like, the main character, I think. I haven't, uh, I haven't looked into it at all, but I've seen, like, like super, you know, violent, gritty, I have acting chops... But I'm a musician thing. I don't know. But anyway, uh, let's get to shit knot. We're on the shit knot. Oh, uh, shit knot. Slip okay. knot. From the years 2007, yeah, seven, to seven. about 2012, I was the biggest slip knot oh, on earth. I didn't I have fall to admit into it. that, I don't think. I absolutely did. I, I fell headfirst into it. I tripped all over myself. I, think... I, I was a maggot. God, I think like spit it out. Uh, the very first like big metal song I think I ever heard was Duality, huh. and like, but that didn't get me into Slipknot. I heard that spit it out, and like, what was the one we were talking about that was like uh, Psychosocial? And yeah, it was like you were like the edgy. I remember that was kid that was one of the first that. albums <laughs> I ever bought on the oh, day it came out. God. Was All Hope Is Gone, Dead and memories. I went. I went to Hot Topic to buy it. <laughs> Back when Hot Topic was about metal and not pop and rap. Well, this was Slipknot. They've always been about Slipknot. Look, I'm yeah. going to go to Knotfest, but it's not to see Slipknot. It's, it's to not. see Sabaton! It's to not see Sabaton or Shitknot. It's absolutely it's to, to see, see all the big bands. That's why they merged it with Ozfest to make it big again. Yeah. Uh, Do you think we that got... was a good choice that they, they merged the two festivals? Yeah, I think. I mean, like, it's... People wanted Ozfest to come back. That's true, they and did. Knotfest was still, like, decently big. Uh-huh. Uh, I don't know. It just, it's money, I man. like the fact that they're doing a multiple-day festival in one town in the United States, where, like, how they do it in Europe, where they have a big fucking festival and everybody comes to it. That's nice. It sucks that the United States has to, like, tour these huge festivals, and so you can't get things like Sonosphere and Hellfest and all that other shit, because that's really the festival experience you can't get it in the united states uh i'd say the closest thing we have to something like that is maybe riot fest 
Where, but that's mostly like alternative rock bands from anything from we like... We have not fest here because all the good festivals are like off in Chicago and fucking Indiana. Yeah, oh my God. Chi- in the no, same state. No, Heavy Montreal always has a fucking Canada crazy lineup. Canada has a, a lot of cool ones. They have the, the punk one uh, that the Sentence would always play at. We always want to... I, I well, mean, I mean, Las right? Vegas that's always fun. has punk rock bowling that all the punk bands go to. Uh, We did Nightwish, Lamb of God, Disturbed. Corn. Yeah. Corn, shit, not, and then corn. Oh yeah, corn. The bearable new metal band that's still really good. Nineteen ninety four. They basically came up with the fucking concept of new metal. Good yeah. for them. I I wow. like the fact that they had like this original idea and they pulled it off. I don't like the fact that it ruined music for um, several years. But you know, I'm a corn fan. I used You're to be a much leash. bigger corn fan. I kind of go through stages of being like super into them. Mm-hmm. I mean, they have a new album coming out that they're saying is like... I'll never song, listen no. to their new albums. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to incorporate more dubstep. Corn haven't put out a really good <laughs> album since... Well, okay. I guess Corn 3 was decent. Yeah. I liked Pop a Pill. I liked um, The Past is like an amazing song. The Past is cool. But really, before that, they didn't put out a good fucking album since Evolution. That wasn't the title. What was the title? It was untitled, I think. Yeah, untitled. I remember, like I keep seeing, I'm like, why isn't it was like 2005? Yeah, untitled. There's uh. that's when it started to get really experimental. And why? Like, why? 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 Hush up, I. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, corn's good. I even like Path of Totality. I'll go on record saying really, that I fucking don't. That's the album with like that. Skrillex, right? It's great. Yeah, that's the they did that with a bunch of dubstep albums. Oh yeah, or re- artists. Well, the only song that got famous was the one that they did with Skrillex. Narcissistic cannibal. Um, oh yeah, yeah, but they're good. I like them a lot. I'm looking forward to the new album. Uh, Kylesa, fucking Kylesa is like the greatest sludge stoner doom metal band ever. I like the fact that you can just show it to anybody. Man. Yeah, exactly. We don't have enough of that. We need more female front. We women. need more ladies in metal. And there's a lot of them in like the stoner rock kind of genre. I'm not so much sludge, some in doom, but like there's a lot in stoner. And uh, Kyles is like the king of all of that. Like it's just so weird. Whenever you they hear really them, are kind of like the king of that scene. You know, that whole like red fang type sound thing. Uh, yeah, they're really the sword. like the sword. They're right there. It's like the um, like head of the scene. It's kind of interesting. Same way that that down is like the head of the other like sludge bands. Yeah. You know the the like southern metal type bands. I suppose everybody wants to be them. Texas Hippie Coalition. I'm looking at you. <laughs> oh yes, oh yes. Uh, <laughs> Hell yeah! Wishes they were good. Uh, <laughs> hell no. <laughs> Hell, let's go to the strip club with Vinny. Yeah. Um, where was I going? Uh, yeah, Kalesa is... Everyone that I've shown them to has become like a huge fan of them, and that says something about their music. It's like their first album first album or two was like, eh. But then they really picked up, and it's just like unbelievable to hear them. It's just like their own sound. It's so good. Exhausting Fire, their newest album, was not yeah. as good, but it's still fucking great. And now they're gone. They're gone, man. You're reminding me that I have to actually change my top five. Number one is going to be Sabaton still, but number two is going to be System of a Down because I love System of a Down. No. Yes, I System, love System Here we System go again. Down. System of a Down they're hasn't the put best. out a good fucking record. They haven't put out a record. Since 2000. Since Aerials. Since, and like. No, no, <laughs> no, no. All their albums, they have five albums. When you and listen, every one of them is a masterpiece. If you hear their hit songs, their hit songs are really good. I'll admit that. But like everything else is just like druggy, fucking weird. It's not. Whatever. Druggy Darren Malakian <laughs> screeching into the night. Do you have something to say? Yeah, it's fucking <laughs> garbage. It's not. I don't understand why people are so. Like, they're like the biggest band of They're the, the biggest band because they're the greatest band ever. Trapezoe and all that, like, those were mega hits. And I understand yeah. that. Yeah. But like, why are they such a huge band still? Because they came up with an original sound that happened to be 
fucking awesome. What? Nobody like, can be them. Melodic, Middle Eastern sounding, like, wailing? Whatever the fuck and you want to like, call it. And then, like... Like, <laughs> like, weird fucking manic no, 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 no. <laughs> fucking metal? Manic metal. Fuck that. Um... We didn't get to... We, did we go to, over Crowbar? We didn't go over Crowbar at all. All I had I gave! Crowbar's fucking great. It's it's kind of an acquired taste. It really is um, an acquired... I wouldn't say any other band is like as much of an acquired taste as Crowbar. And like... You don't like them on your first they've listen. They've been consistently good. Like, they don't have any standout tracks. I mean, like, Severed the Wicked Hand is a fucking great album. Uh-huh. But like... Oh, look, there's a bug on my floor. Um... Fucking, but their sound has just consistently been really good, and they haven't had any bad albums, but they haven't had like great, great albums. Yeah, they don't know? have one album you can point to that like Except belongs. With Wicked Hand, I guess. I don't yeah, know. but even that, you can't take one Crowbar album and say this is a great achievement in metal. Yeah, like you can do with so many other bands. They've just been kind of like good. Like you look you at know. Gojira, and you can take. From Mars to Sirius and plaster it on a wall and be like, this is a great achievement in metal. Yeah. But you can't do that with Crowbar. There's no one album that stands out as being like an excellent album. And it's kind of unfortunate. It is kind I of mean, unfortunate. I hope they can get one together that they're recording one up. right now. Yeah. But, but you know, it's probably just gonna sound like every other fucking they just, Crowbar like, album. They kicked out their bassist or their guitarist, the dude with the beard. Which is everyone in the band. Everyone has a beard. <laughs> the dude with the bald head and the big beard. He got kicked out via text message. I just read that. Oh, that's sucks. funny. He seemed cool and nice. But yeah, that's that's what's going on in Crowbar. I world. hope that Crowbar puts out an album, this next album. Hopefully that's And like I hope it takes over the metal world. Like big. what happened with uh, Arch Enemy's newest album. Yeah. How all of a sudden they were like the talk of the fucking town and everybody heard of them and they all had to go see them. I hope that's what happens with Crowbar. Kill that bug, sir. Where? I think it's an earwig. It's moving along the, the fucking wall there. Oh, there he is. Metal! I can't get him. You gotta smash him with your fist, sir. I'm gonna get him with this. Stab him with the cord. Welcome to bug killing hour, or minute. The bug killing minute on the scum cast. I'm gonna narrate everything that's going on. Skunk's moving the lamp. He's trying to kill this earwig bug thing with the, the sharp end of a, Ooh, a plug. Him. Oh, he nailed him. Oh, cut him cut off around. his head, cat, cattle decapitation style, sir. Ah, God damn it, just smash God. it. Don't stab it, smash he's it. Gone. He's gone. No, he's, he's still alive. He's still writhing in pain. Now asshole. we've moved to the other wall. Skunk doesn't want to smash it. He just wants to stab it. Ah. Electricity isn't doing much. Maybe you got to scratch Both at Pokemon it. Pokemon are not scratch at it. You're gonna wake up the roaches. You kill it? Is it dead? I don't know. Oh, well, I don't, I don't see any movement. We we paused for a few seconds. I think to, we've got it. I think the bastard's dead. It? Oh, the bastard's dead. Good. The only good bug is a dead bug. Anyway. And honeybees, they they're useful. They produce useful stuff, but I hate honeybees. Yeah, but they're useful. They keep us alive. Honey bitches, am I right? Butterflies are cool, too. <laughs> if you don't like a butterfly, then fuck you. Bug cast with the scum dogs. <laughs> yeah. um, the scum dog millionaire. The scum doms. Uh, is that all of our list? Him. We didn't get to him. Him's the last one. Uh, who gives a shit His about him? His infernal majesty. I, I don't like that, but... The fire inside. I've always been a big fan of him. I think him was, like, one of the bigger bands when I was getting into rock and metal because I was introduced to Viva La Bam, which like forever changed me and made me an <laughs> angsty skater kid who is obsessed with the heartogram and shit. Oh no. Um, and I mean, I'm, I definitely credit them for who I am today. So Look, Viva La Bam a, is a fucking great show too. I've seen a lot of Viva La Bam and I hardly remember any of it. Cause it's just like, eh, him is, um, him is, is consistently. Okay. CKY They're not great. Interesting. CKY is pretty good. They have their bad ones though, just like him. But like him CKY overall, CKY has that one good badass. song. Um, what's that? Uh, Ninety nine. Yeah, that's like that was their mega hit. Yeah. Ninety nine, quite bitter beings. Yeah. Quite bitter beings. No, ninety ninety six, quite bitter beings. Ninety six. Yeah. That's it. Shit. But yeah, I mean, 
That's hey, you know, it all it took, the rest I'm of telling you, catalog. all it took in the 90s to become a big famous band was come up with one cool riff, and CKY did it. Yeah, <laughs> have it be catchy, say the so- fucking song title a bunch of times. So yeah, to close it out, those are our uh, our top picks and honorable mentions, and a few gripes, and a dead bug. To close out the episode one of the Scumcast. The Scumcast with Skunk and Dom. Scum, uh, we need to come up with a better name like, like scum in, is good scum is good like a scum scum talk or i don't know we'll figure it we'll out. figure it out uh, i like where we're going with it though mm. we're probably the only people who are going to listen to this amy can't be bothered uh can't show her anything you other one it. fan who listens to this you're cool thank you yeah one random subscriber probably some you're random, great some random bot based in bangladesh this is the first self-aware podcast of all time yes Scum aware. Okay. Any any final thoughts, sir? Uh, I think I'm going to have to hurt you because you don't like System of a Down. <laughs> I get that you're not into Sabaton. You've known that. Yeah, but I, it, every time you remind me, it's just it, it makes me want to just da, 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 burn you alive. Da, da, da. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Guys, wake up. <laughs> we need to work on a, a mashup wake up. of that. Wake up. Da, 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 da. Cause a little makeup. Da, 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 da. Okay. Bye, everybody. Thank you for listening. Bye, one person who listened to this. Goodbye. Thank you.